What the Funko? Cursed Barbosa! Just like that, as if you're joking on some marbles. Cursed Barbosa is number 208. He is a 2016 Summer Convention exclusive and part of the main pop lineup, and he is from Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, before I jump into this, I just want to wish everyone a happy Halloween. Stay safe out there tonight, folks. Make sure you eat lots of candy, and if you have not developed cavities by the end of the night, then you're not doing Halloween right, and you should definitely eat more candy. So since this pop figure is 100% cursed for 100% Barbosa, you're definitely going to want to grab a pair of clean, sterilized gloves and put them on before opening the pop figure. Generally with these cursed pops, there tends to be an excess amount of cursed residue and negative energy surrounding the figure. Oh my god, I can't freaking put this on. And trust me, you really don't want that kind of stuff to seep into your skin. Not only is it difficult to wash out of your epidermis, but there's also a 13% chance that you could become dark and edgy and you'll be forced to talk like this for the rest of your life. It's in the refrigerator. Now then, here is Barbosa and Jack the Monkey. But first, let, let's start with Jack. I'd say Funko did a great job capturing Jack's zombified details despite him being so small. His hand, his feet, and tail are all molded with precision, and his red pirate outfit barely has any bleeding paint at all. And the texture work of Jack's uh, monkey sideburns, as you can see right here, is really, really well done. Look, and he's even balding, and uh... <laughs> Why not? It's a balding monkey. Who doesn't love a balding monkey, right? That's, 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 those are the kind of things that have to put a smile on your face. Balding monkeys. So here I have the original Barbosa Funko Pop for a side-by-side -side comparison. And essentially all of Cursed Barbosa's attire, his hair and weapon, all of it practically remains the same and intact in terms of design and features. The only real difference being Cursed Barbosa's skin and his hat. I absolutely love the texture work of Barbosa's blue skin. A really great job on Funko's part and just, you know, just color me impressed. His skin has a rather bumpy texture to it and it's just riddled with miniature craters and potholes all over the surface. Face just looks really creepy. It looks like it got ran over by a lawnmower. In fact, his face is very similar to the acne problem I had when I was a teenager growing up. And as we move towards the hat, you can see that there are holes scattered across the rim like Swiss cheese, like a Swiss cheese sandwich and the feathers right here have a very messy a very dirty feel to them as if the feathers were grabbed off a dying bird now that is what i call attention to detail overall if you love pirates of the caribbean i highly highly recommend you get this pop figure this is easily one of my favorite funko pops in my collection right now and after reviewing this one i'm really hoping that jack sparrow i <laughs> my bad. I mean, Captain Jack Sparrow gets a cursed variant as well, because honestly, they would just look so good together. Anyways, thank you for watching. Again, I'm Tubby Mora from the Infinity Sandwich. Happy Halloween. And if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and let me know in the comment section below. Are you excited for the new Pirates of the Caribbean 5? And should Captain Salazar monitor his oil intake? Really, that, that's some really freaky deaky stuff going on over there with his mouth. Anyways, really curious to see your answers. Everyone take care. Have a good day. Have a safe Halloween. And I will see you guys in the next What the Funko.